Extreme Trends presents Neighbor calls cops on a 12-year-old for mowing the lawn. It backfires in the best way possible. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Today's story is all about a kid and his ambition that would not be stopped by anything or anyone for that matter. Reginald Fields, also known as Reggie, is a 12-year-old kid from Cleveland, Ohio. At such a young age, Reggie already has big dreams ahead of him, and because of those big dreams, he started his own company that he named Mr. Reggie Lawn Cutting Service. With him are his cousins, brothers, and sisters. Instead of staying inside the house, they would get up early, work hard, and make some money instead. They were doing great and learning about the lawn care business, unlike other kids their age. Little did Reggie know that he would soon witness a series of events that would change his life. Lucille Holt Colden hired Reggie and his young crew to mow her yard. She said she had spotted Reggie and some of his siblings and cousins pushing their equipment outside of a store. Impressed that they had all the tools needed to do the job, she gave the children her address and told them that her lawn needed to be mowed. Reggie could be seen pushing a lawnmower while his cousin rakes and his two sisters shake open a garbage bag. Miss Lucille was really happy with Reggie and his crew's amazing service. All young people ain't out here doing wrong, said Miss Lucille. She was loving it. Suddenly, half an hour later, Miss Lucille was not so pleased. They had no idea why, but a security vehicle arrived at the place. Apparently, Miss Lucille's neighbors, Randy and Linda Krakora, contacted the cops on Reggie. They were under the impression that Reggie had cut a strip of grass that they believed belonged to them. Instead of talking to the kids, they just dialed their phone. Miss Lucille automatically knew who called the cops. Since she began renting the house in October, Miss Lucille said her neighbors have called the cops on her at least five times, including when her children had a snowball fight and when her son parked his car on the grass in her backyard. Lucille felt she's pretty unlucky to have gotten unjust neighbors. However, her neighbors see things differently. Linda Krakora said she had lived in the house with her husband Randy and their family for more than 30 years. She said that Lucille and her family were the bad neighbors, and that their relationship had become so tense that she now communicates with her through the cops. Reggie said he didn't know the strip of grass belonged to the Krakoras, but why would anybody call the cops on kids for mowing the grass? Reggie's mother, Brandy Fields, shared a video of the scene on social media, and the video immediately went viral. Fortunately, the complaint seemed to have backfired. Instead of discouraging the young kids from doing their summer jobs, the community has responded by seeking out Mr. Reggie Lawn Cutting Service. His business became an instant success, as some even donated equipment for the kids to use. Reggie now has more than enough work. An online fundraiser has also launched for Reggie. The campaign garnered $7,600 from nearly 300 donors. The money will go to help Reggie expand his business, including buying a new shed for his tools and maybe even starting a college fund to help him study business someday. Reggie said that he did not see this one coming. It felt excellent and he was really happy. He said he was getting 15 to 20 calls per week to mow lawns, up from just four or five before the video. His mother said she was overwhelmed by the response from the community. It just goes to show that never giving up would eventually bear fruits. Thank you for watching until the end. Be sure to check out our channel for more unbelievable stories.